What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another reading for the Collective. I'm just going to do a short read this morning, see what we have that pops out for us. All right. We have short illness in reverse. Court in reverse. Hope, big water. House in reverse. And main person in reverse. Okay, so I definitely think uh, somebody could be in bad health. Or they, um, excuse me, they could be coming out of bad health with short illness. You know, this card is like the bad health card. So uh, with that in reverse, you know, somebody could be coming out of bad health right now. There could also be some type of legal situation that's uh, either somebody's avoiding something in court or it's not going in somebody's favor. Hope or big water. This is like a positivity card. So when I see this, I think, you know, um, about optimism, like, you know, uh, faithfulness, hope, you know, hopefulness. House in reverse, this could have something to do with like a group, maybe an organization of some sort or an actual house. Somebody could be losing a home, but that in reverse, you know, somebody could be losing a house. Maybe whatever this court situation has something to do with the house. Then we have a main person in reverse. This is a corrupt individual, uh, whether it's a man or a woman, you know, uh, in reverse, this is somebody with bad intentions. I'm going to use a regular tarot deck and see what, what, what else we can have pop out for us. Ten of Wands. Somebody's tremendously burdened about something. The Devil. Judgment in reverse. <laughs> judgment in reverse. Well, judgment, yeah, it came out reverse. Judgment in reverse again. <laughs> Somebody's under judgment, and this is not going to work out. If this is something in court, some type of a uh, court proceeding, I don't think this is going to work out for somebody somebody is we got double on the judgment and it's in reverse so that means whatever this is it cannot be undone like somebody is trapped like double on the trap heavenly burden this person's obsessed with something whatever energy this is you know they've been in bad health they might be coming out of that or it could be like extreme health because that's short illness in reverse that could be like extreme health um there's something going on in court as well somebody's extremely burdened about something and I get the energy with the devil here. You know, somebody that's obsessive. This is somebody in dark energy, very obsessive. They're facing, we had judgment come out in reverse twice. This person is facing judgment for something. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody put a lot of hard work into something. The lovers. Maybe they put a lot of hard work into a lover situation. The fool and the moon. Yeah, so somebody wants to take a new path. I don't know what this court situation is. Uh, somebody in bad health, somebody tremendously burdened. If this has anything to do with the last morning read I did, then, you know, somebody's put putting in a lot of hard work to make the right choice in love after something's been revealed. I know that last reading I had, there was a high priestess that got exposed for placing illusions over an empress and uh, a DM and a DF. The moon talks about, you know, lies and deception being exposed. So maybe, you know, with these lies and deception being exposed, the truth coming out, you know, somebody's putting in a lot of hard work into a lover situation. It's in the upright, you know, and with both of these together, the fool and the lovers, you know, um, I get the energy of somebody that wants to take a new path, um, make a different choice when it comes to love. You know, if there, if there was an illusion that was shattered, then, you know, that makes perfect sense.
Ten of Swords. We got Ten Ten. Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords. Whatever this is, it's a cycle closing. Something's coming to completion. This is definitely like a pickup from that the morning read I did yesterday with the Dark High Priestess. Something's coming to a complete close. And I feel like somebody's in bad health. Whatever karmic energy is here, this person's in bad health right now. Probably facing some type of legal trouble. Yeah, because they were sneaky and deceptive. I wouldn't be surprised if it was that, that Dark High Priestess. It's the same energy. These fell out. They fell on the floor. Four of Pentacles and Four of Wands. Four, four. You know, the Four of Wands is like the Twin Flame card, 11, 11. Uh, somebody's holding on, you know, with the Four of Pentacles here. Somebody's like really holding on to a union, maybe. A divine union. The Lovers can be like a Twin Flame card as well. Um, It's definitely a, a union card. For, you know, the Four of Wands is a union card. The Lovers is a union card as well. So, I definitely get, like, union vibes. Like, somebody wants to either uh, unite, reunite. Goodness, these cards are all over the place. Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's walking away. Whatever the situation was, I feel like somebody's walking away from a really toxic situation. You know, uh, I feel like this is this karmic energy that's in bad health, probably going through some type of legal issues. Um, they could be losing a house. It's this main person in reverse. That's the karmic energy. Eight of Wands. There's going to be quick communication about this. Something's going to come in really quick. Uh, the Eight of Wands talks about, it's one of the fastest moving cards in the tarot deck. This talks about really quick communication. Something coming in fast. This could be somebody coming towards you. This could be some type of information, a message coming towards you. Maybe about the situation. Have strength. I think, you know, whoever this is walking away, they probably found some strength, some strength to walk away from a really toxic situation. Like I said, I feel like this is a continuance of the morning read I did yesterday with the Dark High Priestess. You know, there was an illusion shattered. We have the tower in reverse. You know, somebody was definitely trying to avoid a tower moment. This kind of came out over here with the sneaky and deceptive, ten of swords, ten of wands, this devil energy, this person under judgment. They were trying to avoid a tower moment. And anybody, you know, you guys know a tower moment is an act of God. This person's stuck. And I feel like whoever this is over here with the chariot here, they're getting forward movement. They're moving forward. They're walking away from a situation and they have forward movement to do so. The world, it's the end of a cycle. This is like, <laughs> this is totally like a, a pickup from uh, that reading. If you haven't watched that short reading I did, uh, the title says uh, Dark High Priestess. That was like, this is a continuation of that. We had the world pop out then too. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of a karmic cycle. I swear these cards do not lie. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close this reading here. Um, I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.